Hey guys, it's me, Phanto6, and today I want to share a little bit of gameplay from a game that I've been playing for a little while, off and on since I was, man, I want to say I was probably maybe in the fourth or fifth grade when this game came out. This that's a long time ago, so I'm 28, so I was probably like eight or seven then. But um, this is Turok, um, Dinosaur Hunter, originally came out on the Nintendo 64. Um, it's a old school shooter through and through. Uh, you're not going to see any of these crazy mechanics with iron sights or uh, regenerating health or anything like that. This is purely an old school shooter. And that's kind of what I want to talk about for a little bit. Now this is a let's play and I'm going to try tomorrow or Thursday, hopefully, get a new episode of the game feed and a couple other things I want to get out. So, just be prepared for that. So, this game just got remastered uh, for console, not consoles. It's supposed to be coming to consoles, uh, apparently. Um, but this got remastered, it was about last year sometime. It finally hit Steam. And I had a friend who sent this to me as a gift because, uh, you know, I was in the middle of the move. Um, still trying to co uh, recoup from that. And um, finally was able to get this and man it's like a nostalgia trip all over again uh, the first time you play it um you know some of you guys that's not played anything like this before you may not like it but if you're like me and grew up with doom duke nukem and uh you name it um then this is going to go right up your alley um now the guys who remastered this and, re and ported it over to the pc definitely made it feel like a PC game, does not feel like a console game, um, and you could probably run this thing on a potato, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> but you have, you'll have no problems running this game on PC unless you have, you know, just the shittiest PC, but then again, it'll probably still work. Um, now, <laughs> looking at it, the graphics aren't anything special, um, it, it looks good, you can definitely tell they did remaster it. And depending how this renders out, uh, when you guys see this, hopefully tomorrow, um, it won't be as fuzzy. I've been having a lot of issues lately uh, rendering my uh, footage, and it's making everything really, really fuzzy. Um, the cool thing about this game is definitely the guns. Um, now, in the second game, Season Evil, they had a gun called the Cerebral Boar which basically fired this uh, projectile and they went into one of the enemy's heads and just basically drills right into one hit kill most of the time. Now once they release Seeds of Evil on PC I'll be showing that to you guys as well. Um, it's very fast paced, very very fast paced. Um, you can almost make yourself motion sick playing this game but you know this game's well over I'd say it's probably about 20 some years old maybe 20 at least um, and it definitely does feel feel like it it's I mean like I said it's it's aged pretty well in my opinion um, it's like a fine wine it's actually good playing it like this I it's it's totally worth buying I think it's like I think it's 20 bucks I, I would rather this been a $10 title but I have not finished this game and it's pretty long I mean there's a lot to do um, definitely uh, has some of the old school platforming elements that not very many people liked back in the day. But that's there. That's there. If you like platformers and you like shooters, that's definitely here. Um, the cool feature, not cool feature, but the cool thing is you get to fight dinosaurs. So, I mean, what's not cooler than shooting at a dinosaur with an automatic shotgun or an arrow that explodes? I mean, what more can you ask for? Um, so this game is on Steam. Uh, you can probably find it on Green Man as well and any other platform. Uh, if you guys want to buy this game, I would highly recommend it. Um, I don't really have too much to say about it, but it's definitely fun. And I kind of want to leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. That way you guys can see it. Now, like I said, later this week... I have some things I want to talk about. It's really late right now, but I wanted to make sure I got at least one video out for you guys. And uh, I do apologize um, 
for how hasty it does sound but like I said I did want to make sure I had some kind of video for you guys to see because I want to make sure I get content out as much as possible and hopefully tomorrow or the next day I'll have an episode of the game feed and a let's talk the let's talk is going to be funny sort of well I don't know not funny to me but might be funny to you guys <laughs> but also, as always, uh, we just received a $50 donation for the GoFundMe for the Bits and Pieces um, campaign that I'm running. Now, if you're not familiar with Bits and Pieces, Bits and Pieces is a store slash, it's a video game store slash card game slash comics, uh, you know, board games, you name it. Um, but that's not the only reason why this store is going to exist. The store is also, store is also going to help out people that has problems with abuse, depression, anxiety, thoughts of suicide. Now, I'm not asking for you guys to donate, and if you guys do donate, I highly appreciate it. But, if you wouldn't care, please go ahead and share it. I'll leave a link below in the description, or you can just go to www.gofundme.com forward slash bits and pieces. Like I said, this will really, if this thing kicks off, um, it'll be amazing. I, I want this thing to kick off. I hope it does. Um, and hopefully we can make a big difference in the video game community or card game. And if you like Magic the Gathering, that's one thing we're going to be playing too. Um, so I'm going to leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. And I do apologize again for how Hasius, uh came out, but I wanted to make sure I got you guys at least some kind of video today. Uh, but be sure to hit like and subscribe. I definitely love you guys and have a wonderful day.